This weekend, Live for Love Charities is awarding $10,000 each to 10 organizations that exemplify the spirit of helping people up and helping people out. The nonprofit is a revival of the charity Maite Garcia and her then husband Prince first launched in 1996. Maite joins me now to talk about her journey with Prince and a holiday celebration tomorrow night at the Capri where all those winners will be announced. Welcome back to Minnesota. Thank you so much. It's got to be odd because right now home base is Las Vegas. Yes. You make your way back to Minnesota and you're thinking you're going to see a winter wonderland. I was ready. I was like, okay, should I get thermals? I was like so excited and no, no, it's not happening. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the charity and how it originally came together so many years ago. Um, well, we were married and we were expecting and we were just over the moon, happy, and he was just in that giving thing and we were just there. And he walked into my office and said, I think we should start a charity foundation and start helping people. I was like, okay. Let's do it. And it launched on my birthday and um, it's been doing, he, he continued the, the giving and the, the donations and stuff, but then now we're revamping it. We're starting it again. And your son Amir was born in 1996, but yes. died just six days after his birth from Pfeiffer syndrome, Pfeiffer syndrome. type two. Yeah. Um, how difficult was that on each of you? Oh, it was, um, it was very, very hard. I don't, I don't wish it on anybody. Um, it's just something that makes you stronger if you can survive it because it's very very painful and I don't wish it on my worst enemy but yeah I mean with that we we kept it um, the handprint on the on the um, your logo, logo mm -hmm. is is Amir's hand so it's in honor of him there's now a movie uh, in the works it's based on your book which yes. is called the most beautiful why was it important for you to share your life with Prince, not only with his super fans, many of them here in Minnesota, but with the rest of the world? Well, I mean, it, it, was, it was my story. It was an amazing love story. And I, I wanted people to see a different side of, you know, everybody's got this whole image and, and way of thinking of him as being mysterious. And he was actually a very loving, loving person. And now with Live for Love, hopefully we get to share how much he, he donated. He, he gave a lot. And a lot of times it was things that no one really heard about until now many, many years later that yeah. he's passed. And it's still, it'll still come out. I mean, we're actually working on doing on, on a piece of showing how, many, how much he helped because a, a lot of people know what hap how much he gave. Now, so, Live for Love yeah. is going to be honoring, as we mentioned, 10 different charities yes. tomorrow night. You had a pool of, what, over 150 to choose from. Yeah, it was really hard. It was really hard. But we kind of, I think we... We picked some really good ones that kind of expand and, and I mean, really inspir inspirational. Tell me about the different types of charities. You, you tried to reach out in a lot of different ways. Yes, um, homeless. Um, one, we're doing one animal because I also rescue animals. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love animals. Um, also, actually one about um, people, parents who have lost their children. So I'm really excited about that one. Um, women groups, men groups, supporting men's, also music, also art. So it's kind of expansive and, and really exciting and beautiful. And a big night of music, and I assume with your background, some dancing, because what uh, I've seen on social media is you have not lost a step. <laughs> I'll be dancing on the side, but it's, <laughs> it's something about getting together and, and, and sharing the love. <laughs> and you'll have some performances yes. going on, yes. DJ, DJ. And, and people can, this is not a closed event, even though you're honoring all these charities, anybody yes. can come. Yeah, anybody can come, it's free food, it's just going to be a, a warm, giving, beautiful evening. And it's going on Sunday, starts Sunday. at 5 with yes. a reception, then 6 to 8 over at the Capri. Mm -hmm. At the Capri, and there's going to be amazing music and food, and we're asking that people donate an unwrapped toy or $20, because we're also helping, we're helping, it's all about helping a lot of, lot of uh, charities that were, and people that were helping. And I know you're looking to go even bigger here in Minnesota next year, is that true? Yes, I actually, I'm going to start house hunting. Really? <laughs> yes, because we have a lot of plans for, for the future. I'm really excited about it. And other projects that uh, you have coming up? Um, well, my rescue, uh, the movie that's coming out, and then just stay tuned on liveforlovecharities.org and you'll hear all about it or follow me on social media, Maite Janelle. All right. <laughs> Maite, thank you thank for the you. time here tonight. And I know that event is going to be spectacular tomorrow night. And uh, hopefully uh, we've got a few more uh, people that are going to be coming to yes. meet you. Yes, yes. Thanks so much for joining us thank tonight. Thank you for having me.